Signal XT is a periodic impulse train and we are required to calculate its Fourier transform x omega. So we are having a periodic signal and we need to calculate the Fourier transform of this periodic signal. Therefore, we will use the formula we have obtained in the last lecture. We saw the Fourier transform of a periodic signal is equal to 2 pi summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn. cn is the complex exponential Fourier coefficient of the periodic signal multiplied to delta omega minus n omega naught. So the important thing is calculation of cn and we know cn is equal to xn omega naught divided by t naught and to calculate xn omega naught we will select the central impulse and we have already calculated the Fourier transform of the impulse located at the origin. We know its Fourier transform is equal to 1 therefore Cn is equal to 1 over T naught. We have Cn and now we can calculate x omega. So let's see what we have as the value of x omega 2 pi summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity in place of cn we will write 1 over t naught multiplied to delta omega minus n omega naught i will take t naught out of the summation so we have 2 pi divided by t naught summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity delta omega minus n omega naught 2 pi divided by t naught is equal to fundamental angular frequency omega naught so x omega is equal to omega naught summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity delta omega minus n omega naught so this is our answer the question was not very difficult. If you know the formula to calculate the Fourier transform of periodic signals and you know how to calculate Cn, then you can easily have the answer. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.